Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a new planning video and I'm really excited about it. This month's theme is all about beautiful sunsets, pastels and clouds. In this video I'm going to show you how I made my last weekly spread. Let's get started. Before we begin, I'm going to prepare my journal for all the watercolors. I use multiple binder clips to keep the pages together and get less wrinkles. In this video I use masking tape to mark the area that I want to paint. You can also use some washi tape if you like. For the sunset we are going to make a gradient. I'm using sort of a rainbow palette. I use a purple shade and some darker colors of blue for the top and as we get to the bottom the palette changes to pink, red and even a bit of orange. Start with making the entire section that you want to paint wet. This way the colors will blend more easily. Then paint with a dark blue color the upper part of the page. Add some purple and blend the colors with your brush. Really try to play with this. Maybe practice some before you start in your journal. As we come near the half of the page, add a pink shade and a red one. After that some yellow or some orange so that the piece will start to look like a real sunset. Add a dark shade of purple and a pink shade to get more depth into your watercolor. Wait until your pieces dry or try to speed up the process with a hair dryer. Now we're going to paint clouds into our sunset. I start with a blue and a purple cloud on top and pink and red ones on the bottom. You can even blend the cloud by using multiple colors for one, such as pink and purple.
After this, you can remove the masking tape. This is a tricky situation. Don't do this like a band-aid because you will rip the pages. It happened to me all the time. Try to do it nice and slow. Now we're going to add some details to it. I use a white gel pen from Pentel to add the stars. I also put some dots on the clouds. After that I give the clouds some more definition by drawing some white lines. People that follow me on Instagram will probably know that I add a paper plane to all the spreads this month. So that's what I'm doing right now. I add a dotted line to make a trace. When that's done, I'm setting up my weekly spread. With a stencil, I draw some circles for the dates and with a pink sambo, I mark the border for the days. And ta-da, my weekly spread is finished. I really hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions, please ask them below. I'm also on Instagram, this is where I post more frequently. So if you would like to check that out, the link is in the description. This was the video for today. Don't forget to subscribe or like this video if this was helpful to you. I really hope to see you guys next time. Bye!